All right, guys, we're going to start with some planking. So come down onto your knees. Place your hands directly underneath your shoulder and extend your legs straight back. Feet are together. And we're just going to hold plank here. You want to continue to squeeze your seat, relax your shoulders, pull your abdominals into your spine, and use your breath. For the record, Demera is on her fists because she has a hurt wrist. This is a variation, and good on her for making sure she did it. Good job, Demera. Now you're going to come down, down, and then lift back up. So bring yourself down and up. We'll go left, right. You want to keep your body moving as a solid unit. Now hold it there at the top. Once again, retuck your hips, retuck your seat. All right. Come down here onto one arm. You're going to turn to the side and you're going to extend your right arm straight up to the ceiling, holding your body in a solid unit, keeping your hips lifted. You don't want to let them fall to the ground. Now come back down to the center and you're going to switch your weight, taking your left arm up to the sky, keeping your hips lifted. Keep breathing, suck your abs in, and let's come back down. Let's, let's hold it here for a few more seconds. 143. One what? 43. 143. Heck, that's like running on a treadmill. You haven't even left the ground. This is awesome. All right. Great job, guys. All right. We're going to do something else now to work on our seats. So you're going to place your elbows onto the ground and then spread your hands out wide and place them on the ground. You're going to inhale, arching your upper back, and then exhale, tucking your hips under. You're going to open your right leg out to the side and then bring it back in. So open up and in. Keeping your back arched? You're keeping your back arched. You're keeping your hips tucked under. Up and in. There you go. Use your breath. So you want to make sure that while you're doing this, you're sucking your abs in and then continuing to tuck your hips under. Good job. Up and in. Now hold it open and do tiny lifts up. So you're just lifting with your knee. Now I want you to hold it there. You're going to turn your arm inward and open up your body. You're going to bring your knee down into your elbow and then lift it up to the sky. So bring it down and up. You will feel this in your seat. Immediate cramping. Woo! Now hold it up and just do tiny lifts up and up. If your legs start shaking, that is totally okay. We love it. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Press yourself back into a child's pose. Now I want you to roll onto your back. You're going to cross your right foot over your left thigh and pull your leg in in a figure four stretch. All right. Let's do the left side. <laughs> All right, once again, digging your elbows onto the ground, open your hands wide and place them on the ground. You're going to inhale, arching your upper back, and then exhale, tucking your hips under. You're going to bring your knee in 
and then open it up to the side and bring it closed. Open up and close. Inhale and exhale. Continuing to tuck your seat and pulling your abs deep into your spine. Now hold it open and do tiny lifts up and up. Good. How do you feel? I hope it burns. Where's the burn in the back? All inside the glutes. Now you're gonna turn your elbow inward and square off your shoulders. Bring this leg down into your knee and then extend it up. So do knee to elbow and straighten. Knee and lift. Further forward with your knee. You guys, these knees are hard. Do them to the best of your ability. Really go for that stretch. Really go for the movement. Now hold it out and just lift up and up. Really keep that leg straight if you can. Point your toes. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Bring yourself back to a child's pose. Once again, roll over onto your back. Let's stretch out your seat that we just worked. Cross your left foot over your right thigh. Pull your leg down in a figure four stretch. Make sure you're grabbing behind your knee. Now switch legs. Right foot over your left thigh. Alrighty. Great job. How do you feel? Good. Good. Well, there's your floor workout for today. I avoided that one. How do you feel? What's your heart rate? Down to 127. Coming down to 127. That is absolutely perfect. Jennifer, what did we just work right now? What were those muscle groups? We were working our glutes pretty hard. I don't know about you, but mine was cramping. But it was burning. I could barely. If you're doing it right, you should barely be able to move your leg because you're squeezing so tight and it's cramping so much that it should barely be moving. It's all about isometric movements. So it's a contracting your muscle. Contract, contract, contract. And then that's why we stretched out afterward to make it nice and lean and long.